So last week I mentioned briefly about synchronicity and I said that we will get to an episode about it, but there's a series of episodes before we get to the law of synchronicity. So this is an episode about the law of sympathetic resonance. So what is it? It means that a passive or vibrational body responds to an external body to which it is in harmonic relation with. So how does that affect us as human beings? It is partly the law of attraction. It means that we are attracting to us everything that we are in sympathetic vibration to. So whether we are vibrating consciously or unconsciously. And there's actually an experiment, I'll put the link down below, of a professor that placed two forks in a wood and um, he struck one with um, a, a wood or a hammer and it vibrated and it affected that the sound of the other when he numbed the other one out. So it is unconsciously we're doing it. Right. I heard someone explain it like if you walk into the room and you're just magnetically drawn to someone, that's what's happening is that both of you guys are vibrating in the same type of frequency. So that's what the law of sympathetic resonance is. And I've actually heard a story about this. I forgot to record, so I don't have the recordings for this. I was interviewing someone and he was telling me about him not growing up with his father, right? Um, and um, his mother is here in America. His father was somewhere in France. So sh she raised him all by herself. So when he grew up, he was working like in corporate America, right? And eventually he has his own family, he has his own kids and he has everything. Eventually during the pandemic, which we all were affected by the pandemic, he realized that he no longer wanted to work in corporate America. So by this time, him and his family have moved to Canada, so they're no longer in America. So he decided to start going internally, do some digging, and then he found out that he really wanted to be a journalist, right? And in that, he got a therapist, and the therapist was trying to tell him to trace his lineage back to his father, try to find his father to make amends. So he eventually found his father. His father moved around from several countries, French countries, and eventually, I mean, they got to meet, and he found out that his father was actually um, a, a journalist. So he was unconsciously vibrating towards, you know, the lineage of his father, what his father was doing, but he never knew that. And his father has now new kids, um, and he has his own kids. And he said when he met his father, his wife told him that they had the same mannerisms. You know, we all... There are laws that we operate under in this world, just like the law of gravity, the law of the Newton's law, the law of physics, all of these, right? We all cannot escape it. Even animals fall, have to follow these laws. The only thing that separates us from animals is that we have the power to create our own lives. I am learning these things just as you are learning it as well and I have to say that it's very difficult to align yourself with vibrations that you know you want to be in because first of all you have to define what those look like what what does it look like what does it look like to vibrate in a kind manner what does it look like to vibrate in a successful manner you know we can watch people yes but do we really know what's going on inside of them and how they are vibrating Right. So it's just that there are these laws that we operate under that just defy space and time. And it's some people have tapped into it. You know, the Einsteins, all the geniuses of the world, and they have given it to us. The only thing is to figure out how. How are we going to do this? So comment down below. Let me know if you learned something about the law of um, sympathetic resonance. All right. See you guys next week. Bye.